The crosses of Mithotidville are famous as iron masters. One of them was Robert Thompson Crawshay. Born in 1817, he died in 1879. Few people know that he was an accomplished photographer. The Crawshay family lived in the imposing Cavartha Castle, which overlooked their ironworks. Most of the building is now a school. Part of it is a museum. In 1866, Crawshay bought a camera to take portraits. This cost him £25, but he had to pay another £25 for the lens. Nothing remains today of the photography darkroom and studio that he built on one corner of the castle. He had two daughters. This is Henrietta. Her sister, nicknamed Trotty, kept a diary and she records many of her father's photographic activities. Trotty frequently writes that she is fed up with having to help him in his photography. In 1868, for example, she writes, washed prints and pasted them, went to the photography room, then the printing room. On August 28th of that year, she records that Papa came up at 10.30. Then I was photographed all morning and till three after lunch as a gleaner. He photographed her and others in his studio and printed in the dark room next to it. Some of his glass plate negatives are kept at the Cavalfa Museum, a few as big as 15 inches by 12 inches. I like this lady shown in its negative form. Here is a positive version, but I prefer the mystery of the negative. I think that this wet collodion negative of Trotty in the Kavatha studio, surrounded by exotic plants, presumably obtained from the castle's adjacent greenhouses, is a masterpiece. Crochet also photographed outdoors. His ironworks, Pont San Viaduct, Talabont Bridge, and at the Crawshay's fishing cottage here at Skethrog on the River Usk. To be able to photograph away from his studio, Crawshay used a portable dark room that was drawn by a horse. The clerk of his ironworks, Roger Williams, was very involved in helping, some suggest guiding, Crawshay in his hobby. This must be the bearded Roger Williams standing outside the van. Crawshay joined the Photographic Society of London, now the Royal Photographic Society, in 1867 and won a prize in 1872 at Dublin, the medal for which is engraved with his name and kept at the museum. He was certainly a very good amateur photographer, albeit a wealthy one. His gravestone at Vena Church bears the enigmatic words, God forgive me.